What's going on, horror gang? Welcome to our Shop Six Times YouTube horror movie channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button, subscribe to the channel, so let's hit that notification icon to get all of these content updates to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about a recent article from Screen Rant regarding Stu Mocker and a possible return to Scream 6 and how it could make sense more so for Scream 6 than possibly Scream 7 and I'm going to give you my take on the situation. Before I do that, let's hit that intro. I shut in six times! Alright gang, so let's get into it. So, in an article posted two days ago by Richie Howe of Screen Rant, this article is titled, How Scream 6 Leaving Woodsboro Sets Up an Original Character's Return. Scream 6 Leaving Woodsboro and Changing Location is the perfect way to establish the fitting return of a favorite original Scream character. Now I'm going to read the entirety of this article. I didn't post any, you know, pictures of it or whatever. I just felt like it'd be easier if I just read the entire article, you know, by voiceover, etc., and narration, whatever you want to call it. So, let's get into it. The location change of Scream 6 Leaving Woodsboro allows for a series of favorite legacy character to resurface over 25 years since his last appearance. The franchise began in 1996 with Russ Craven's Scream, which featured dual killers Billy Loomis, portrayed by Skeet Ulrich, and Stu Mocker, portrayed by Matthew Lillard. The two killers began what is now a universally recognized franchise with their gruesome horror movie inspired killing spree. The Scream franchise still thrives today with the most recent Scream 2022 reaching amazing box office heights. Scream 6 was greenlit only three weeks after Scream 2022's release due to the latter's impressive reception with critics and audiences alike. Soon after, Scream 6 announced its cast of returning characters with Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox, and Kirby Reed, Hayden Penetier, set to reprise their roles along with several Scream 2022 cast members. However, Sidney Prescott, Nev Campbell, remains unconfirmed. Along with these casting announcements came news that Scream 6 will be filmed in Montreal, Canada, marking Scream 6 as the first in the franchise film outside of the United States, a change that perfectly sets up a legacy character return. Now, quick, real quick, it has not been confirmed that Courtney Cox is returning for Scream 6. It has not been confirmed. She said that she read the script, the script is nice, but she hasn't seen any contracts. So, she has not been confirmed for Scream 6. Keep in mind, she was on the cast list originally, then she was taken off right after the core four was announced and Hayden Panettiere was announced. So we have no official confirmation that Courtney Cox is returning to this film. Okay, so let's continue. Audiences have been wanting Stu Mocker to return for a long time. Yes, we have. And many thought the villain would finally reappear in the latest screen movie. While they were disappointed, there, were, there may be a very logical reason for Stu's absence in 20, Scream 2022. Stu is a part of Woodsboro's legacy, both because he is a town local, but also because he is one of the two original Ghostface killers. However, Stu wouldn't be able to exact his revenge on Cindy and the others in Woodsboro because part of what makes the killers in Scream so effective is their ability to remove the costume and blend in. Something he can no longer do with his infamy. Examples of how the events of the first film shook the town are all around. From rule-obsessed Randy Meek's home memorial to Tatum Riley's Ashes and Dewey's slash David Arquette's trailer. It's clear the town hasn't forgotten the events of the original killing spree. Stu would be instantly recognized by the people of Woodsboro also by the fans in the universe stab movies making it incredibly hard to get very far with this killing spree with his killing spree there are many things within the known scream canon that suggest Stu is alive such as him almost returning to role to the role in scream 3. Stu has been on the sideline for years waiting for his chance to strike since 1996. if Stu had survived 
he would either had to spend time recovering from his injuries or serve in prison sentence. Even if Stu got loose, his recognizable face would make him instantly a suspect. Scream 6 change of location is the perfect opportunity to release Matthew Lillard Stu into the world of Scream once more, wiser, fitter, and more experienced ready to take on Cindy Prescott one last time in a place where he can truly reinvent himself. Changing location for Scream 6 not only makes sense for the franchise, which has always reinvented itself, but also for the characters of the series who have suffered so much trauma in Wordsboro and Scream 2022, Gail Weathers came back to Woodsboro primarily to make sure Dewey was safe, while Cindy only came back because she wanted to end the spree for the sake of Dewey and the safety of her children. Now that Dewey is dead, neither has a logical reason to return. This applies to Kirby Reed too, whose return to Street 6 comes after narrowly surviving her ordeal in the well-liked Scream 4. It also applies to the survivors of Scream 2022 who have shown that they are self-aware horror survivors who are more than likely going to leave Woodsboro once they heal. Stu's only chance at revenge in the upcoming Scream 6 is to somehow lure the cast of Scream franchise of the Scream franchise into an unknown area where he couldn't, wouldn't be recognized. Something impossible in Woodsboro to finally end the overarching story of the Scream franchise. Very interesting article by Richie Howe. So let's get into it. Um, I like the idea of this article that he wrote. Um, I do think it does have some validity and makes some sense that um. It would make sense that Stu would arrive in this new setting where nobody knows him. Stepping back foot, you know, physically, where people could see him in Woodsboro would be very, very risky because the town locals would recognize him, even though he's older and probably scarred. Um, and, you know, he's he, everybody knows who Stu Mocker is in Woodsboro. They haven't forgot, you know, about the killing spree. You know, there was another killing spree years after. So it would be very hard to forget Stu Mocker's face, especially, obviously, he has family that still lives in Woodsboro, Vince Mocker, obviously, Leslie Mocker, so it would be very difficult for Stu to arrive physically in Woodsboro without being noticed. Now, I'm gonna go through my faux quads with this, though, is that, um, first of all, we don't know if Sid is gonna be in this movie, Nev Campbell, we don't know if she's gonna be in this movie, for one, and if she is, we don't know what type of role she's going to play we don't know if she's going to play a significant role and in my in my opinion if nev is not going to play a significant role in this movie in scream 6 then it would be almost no point to bring Stu mocker back in scream 6 because in my opinion you would have to focus a good bit of the story on cindy prescott and if she's not a main focal point of this story it would kind of make it pointless for Stu to come back in this movie because I mean, yeah, does he, you know, have some motives in terms of, you know, a lot of everybody forgetting about him as a killer in the original spree, you know, as Billy gets all the credit? Yeah, but his main focus would be trying to get rid of Cindy and Gail, you know, the originals, you know, the ones that he didn't kill back in 1996. So, in my opinion, if Nev isn't in this movie... And it's, even if she is, but she's not in this movie a good bit, like she doesn't have a big role, it would make it very, very difficult to sell Stu Mocker's return and reveal, in my opinion. Another reason why, you know, I have a, a, a somewhat of a mini issue, you know, with this, you know, theory of this article is that let's keep in mind, Stu was not present in Scream 5, and they did a very good job of making his presence felt. And I think that that's very pivotal to touch on because Stu Mocker does not have to be in Woodsboro to be a mastermind Ghostface killer. If we believe that Stu is running a cult of Ghostface killers, like they had planned, you know, for his character to return and do in Scream 3, then it's not far fetched to think that Stu is operating outside of Woodsboro which is why we would not need to see him in Woodsboro to begin with. He would know that it is too risky to step foot in Woodsboro unless obviously he is donning the ghost face mask 24-7, which would be, you know, risky within itself. 
or unless obviously it's at the end and we are in Woodsboro and it's at the end of the third act reveal, possibly in Street 7, etc. But he would know that it would be too risky for him to walk daily in Woodsboro, I'd like to think. So he would be operating outside of Woodsboro in a place that nobody knows him where nobody recognizes him so he can get his supplies so he can live and, and obviously get food and you know still be nurtured and still be living and alive and well he does not have to be in woodsboro for his presence to be felt or for him to be operating as a mastermind in these new force face killings as we've seen in screen five we didn't get we didn't get Stu mocker present in screen five but we did get a lot of little nuggets that suggested that they could possibly bring him back in this new Scream trilogy that we believe that we are getting. So that's my that's just my little issues with this you know with this article and the whole reasoning for bringing back Stu Mocker in Scream Six making more sense as opposed to down the line is that like I said guys Cindy Prescott would have to be involved in this movie a good bit not just for a couple minutes a couple scenes she'd have to be involved in this movie a good bit. And we, we'd have to get Nev to be on board. We don't have any confirmation of Nev or Courtney coming back in this movie. So in my opinion, it just if neither one of them is in this movie, especially Nev, especially Nev, if neither one of them is in this movie, though, there's just no reason for Stu Mocker to come back in Scream 6, in my opinion. It would, it would have to be saved for Scream 7. And the whole, you know him not be you know being able to blend in woodsboro obviously that's true he would not be able to physically be able to walk in woodsboro daily without somebody recognizing who he is and obviously ratting him out and you know etc etc but if he is working out you know if he is working behind the scenes and he's a you know a mastermind ghostface cult leader he wouldn't need to set foot in woodsboro up until the final act scene of scream seven which would we would like to believe is going to be back in Woodsboro full time, then it would make sense that he's obviously in Woodsboro, but only for the final act and reveal that he is still alive and he's been a part of this entire new Scream trilogy and he's been this mastermind and cult leader the entire time, you know, hiring these um, Ghostface killers across Scream 5, 6, and now 7, whoever's accomplice will be in 7, thus leading to the big reveal and thus revisiting somewhat of the same storyline that they were going to do in Scream 3. But that's my take on this article, guys. I do find it to be a very fascinating and somewhat credible article. I'm not shooting down the idea at all. I just think that it would be very difficult to, to pull that off for Scream 6, given the reasons that I provided you guys. But I want to hear from you guys. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the article. Do you agree that it would make more sense for Stu Mocker to return on Scream 6, given the location is going to be out of Woodsboro? Or do you believe that, you know, do you agree with me that he would not need to be in Woodsboro to still be operating as a Ghostface killer behind the scenes and that we should wait to Scream 7, especially if Nev Campbell isn't in Scream 6 much, if not at all, if she does return to Scream 7 and she has a bigger role, do you guys think that we should save Stu Mocker's reveal if he is alive for Scream 7? Hit the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. All right, gang, that's it for this video. Once again, this is I Shot Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button and subscribe to the channel. So also hit that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I would love for you guys to join this wonderful community we got growing here on YouTube. As well as sure to be, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you for watching.